Hey, Carl here with Tactical Rifleman. I, we had a couple more comments on the website about how I set up my helmet. Setting up a helmet's easy. Don't set it up, all right? Don't put all the extra G-Wiz gadgets on it. All you're doing is uh, you're looking like a gear queer and you really don't need this stuff. You really don't. Keep it simple. But for setting up your helmet for proper use, um, first for comfort. All right, uh, most of your good helmets, even this old Mitch helmet, they come with uh, removable pads on the inside, foam pads. Um, you'll notice I have them uh, pulled out on the sides and that's because I wear over the ear uh, Pelter headsets. Those foam pads Velcro right out, you leave them out so when you're wearing your headsets, that way it's not giving you that uh, headache. If you put on your helmet, you're wearing it for a couple hours and uh, you're getting a headache from it, now you don't have it sized right. Get the correct size helmet, set it up so that it's comfortable. Chin strap uh, needs to be set up so that it sits, doesn't pull at your head, right? Um, brother, that's, that's the biggest part of wearing a helmet. What kind of helmet to get? Again, this is an old Mitch helmet. Uh, this is one of the newer helmets. This particular one's by Team Wendy. Cry, uh, Cry Precision has the airframe. Um, you know, there, there's a number of great helmets out there right now. Um, are they really better? Uh, yeah, there's been some improvements made. Uh, the, the, uh, the old Mitch helmet was a big leaps and bound over the old Kevlar helmet that we were issuing people back in the 90s. Uh, supposed to be a little better protection. Uh, again, I, I know we lost a captain uh, during uh, 2004. AK Bullet went right through the front of his helmet. Right, unfortunately, that happened more than once. Some helmets, uh, such as the Cry Airframe, it has a much thicker plate on the front of the helmet. That's because, uh, unfortunately, some units were taking a much higher casualty rate coming from the front and above. So they went with a thicker plate there. Uh, this Team Wendy one is uh, about as light as you can go while still pro providing decent protection. Um, whichever helmet you go for, don't just go for weight reduction, don't just go for comfort. Remember, the primary job of the helmet is to protect that brain housing group, keep you alive. Next thing that's important about a helmet is your night vision mount on the front. All right, this is a Wilcox mount. Your actual uh, hinge piece clips right in there, locks down, you can run all different kinds of nods with this mount. Everything from a PVS-14, uh, duels, uh, even the quad ones, piece of cake. You'll notice there's small bungee cords here on this helmet, also on this one. All right, what those are for is once you've got those night vision goggles on, you hook these onto the side of your night vision goggles and they, they pull it tight to your head. Uh, keep them from rattling around while you're moving your head. Now this particular setup, you notice I'm running a, a battery box on the back of it. This is for batteries for that night vision device. The cool part about this particular setup is I can run double A's on this side with the switch to that side. It's running off of these batteries. I then can, if my batteries start to go low in my night vision, I can flip it over to the other side. It'll start running off of these batteries without shutting my night vision goggles off. I then can pull out my insert, swap fresh batteries, put them back in, and I've never had to turn off my night vision goggles. Great feature. Uh, you'll notice that I also run a cell placard uh, on both these helmets. And the reason for that is while you've got night vision goggles on and you're in the room, it's hard for other assaulters, other operators to determine who you are with those night vision goggles on. But if you've got a cell placard on the back of your helmet, you've got them on your arms, both sides, uh, they can see, okay, that's Charlie03, he's part of Delta Cell, blah, 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 blah. That's the guy that uh, I know who that is now, right? So other than that, keep your helmet simple. Um, the only other thing I've added on this particular one is I'm running an IR strobe on it. And uh, that's simply so that drones overhead, helicopters, everybody, or even on a, that hey ho jump, other people can see that strobe light and identify me. Now you notice I'm keeping the, the battery case pointed to the rear because the actual uh, IR illuminators are up front here. Also what that does is by going to any near wire, uh, low wires or underneath anything hang, hanging down in that helicopter or the, you know, the inside of that uh, Osprey, I don't get it hooked up and ripped off, all right? Um, other than that, that's the basics of a helmet. Keep it simple. You don't need to add all the extra G-Wiz gadgets just, to, just so you look cool. 
Um, this is, uh, that just adds weight to your head. Who would want to do that? All right, so keep it simple, keep it plain, make sure it's comfortable because uh, you're going to be wearing it a long time. Questions and comments, leave them below.